been very happy with the quality of the heat that comes off there. Hey folks, how's everybody doing? Oh, let's, let's just clip this on. Let's just do this right. Do it professional. How's everybody doing? We're going to start this episode with greatest freaky movie of all time. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Uh, I can guarantee it's not what was in that movie. We're heading into Home Depot right now. I need a couple of parts for this. I'm gonna try and get this figured out. On this episode, we're gonna do a little review. And if you've seen the title already, you know what's in the box. It is an Olympian Wave 3 heater. I'm excited to give this a shot. Had a couple of issues getting it. I was dealing with a company, their initials are Camping World. Just some bad communication from a local store. Just wasn't very prompt. It just, it, and I gotta be honest, you know, I, I can't tell people everything's sunshine and rainbows all the time. And there were a couple of hiccups getting this. So I ended up ordering it directly from Camping World and it came very promptly that way. We're gonna do an unboxing. I have to get a couple of parts. That's where right now we're in the parking lot of Home Depot. Not very exciting. But we're going to run in, get a couple of parts. I'm going to see a couple of options that I might have for this to see if you folks can guide me a little bit on how we're going to use this and set this thing up. So I'm excited to do a little review, excited to do a little unboxing. Let's get into Home Depot and get our parts and pieces. Well, that was a big strikeout at Home Depot. They had a little shorty in there, but it was only 23 inches long, and I didn't want the tank that close to uh, to the heater. I am showing Lowe's has one. I've got to go uh, pick up my wife right now. She is <laughs> returning some Christmas gifts, and then we will continue on this adventure. All right, after uh, a little uh, trial and error here, we are going with this and a 10 foot hose and we're good to go got it right here i think we're set for parts and hoses and connections i do need to get and double check make sure i have some plumbing tape at home i'm excited to see how the heat does the quality of heat not a huge fan of the mr buddy heaters they are either it's either they're on and it's scorched earth or they're off and then it's cold. The main issue is they just burn through the propane like crazy in my experience. I don't like switching it past that low thing where you depress the button and then it's like flickering. I don't think it's burning properly and that seems kind of dangerous to me. So hopefully this is a good option for us and I'm excited about uh, putting this thing together and giving it a shot. Let's see what we get out of it, huh? All right, it is time for the big reveal. I don't know if I've shown you folks this. This is one of my most used tools. It's a Milwaukee box cutter. It's also got a flathead and Phillips on there, but then the uh, box cutter comes right out. Also got a bottle opener on there. Uh, highly recommended, this little Milwaukee Fastback. All right, let's get this thing opened up. I did just realize, of course, I do not have plumbing tape. We can't hook it up quite yet. It'll be another stop. How many of you folks have ever gone to two different hardware stores three different times? <laughs> Trying to finish a project. What's in the box? All right. A box in a box. Will this actually be it? It's in another box. I was joking. All right. Wave three, what do you think? All right, all our instructions. Well, oh, it's a small little thing, that's nice. Not super big. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I like it. I did this instead of a diesel heater. Just didn't wanna all the horror stories I've heard of those things. All right, we got it out. We can't really do anything with it. I'm gonna get the legs put on it here in a second. These are the legs that came quite a while ago. These were super easy on Amazon. These just showed up like they're supposed to. 
Oh, you don't think it was open? It doesn't have like a little handle up on top. So these, oh, they just screw in. That's pretty simple and easy. So that is the bottom of the heater. And I'm assuming we want it to point up. Oh, they're just little uh, Phillips heads. Nice. That's where this little uh, tool comes in, super handy. It actually is a legit screwdriver. The way the handle works, works really well. And then we'll have to go get some plumbing tape. Oh, you know what else I'm gonna check and see are these threads on the back. Yeah, there isn't much to the thing. That is it. Put together. We just need to get some uh, tape to do the uh, propane there. Nice little thing. I need a, uh, I wonder why it doesn't have a handle. That would be uh, very beneficial. But let's, uh, let's explore some other options here. But this is how it looks. I'm excited. I'll give you a quick 360. Nice little machine. The only thing you're dealing with is propane heat. So that means you do need to have uh, exhaust and entry point for some fresh air. I think it's set up. I think we're ready. Always check these threads, the threads with the nut before you actually permanently do anything. Some of these are just kind of a funky little size. I don't know if the thread depth is different, but like this, this is hooking up awesome. So I got a 10 foot cord. This will be great. I can put the propane pretty much anywhere in here I want. Our uh, low pressure regulator should be good to go. We are back from the hardware store. We have some pipe tape. Doing the twist method. Hopefully that doesn't gum it up too much. Grab this. Gotta grab a tool. Getting close, getting close. I can feel it. All right. This thing goes up like a glove. His feet are kind of scratchy. Take this, set it on that. Perfect. All right, everything is hooked up. Fuel, locations, connections. We got it. I'm a man. I don't need these. Turn control knob. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we have gas to the heater. Turn heat control knob to start. Make sure your gas supply is turned on. Hold on. Let's get you folks over here so you can see. Okay, you can see it's starting to uh, get a glow. Oh, wow. Feel the heat coming off there. It feels good. So I'm supposed to hold this knob for like 45 seconds. Keep control knob depressed for 45 to 60 seconds. Flames are dancing. I can feel the heat. Man, that feels really good. Appears to be going. The only funky thing was this control knob. I didn't know if that was supposed to be on high the whole time I was pressing it. I don't think so. It does seem to be warming up. Got good heat coming off. Oh, we're going to do a temperature check right now. It's 58 degrees in here. After driving around, my van is trashed from doing all this. Man, I think we're gonna have a solid heat source though. Oh, ho, ho, the warm glow. What are we at for temperature? 71. It's a nice heat too. It's more like subtle or something but it is warm in here. All right, we're gonna check back again a little bit, but we're at 71 right now. About 72 degrees. But it is warm in here, feels good. Back up to high. I feel like the whole thing didn't fire like it was supposed to. I could be wrong. Boy, it is a nice, it's a nice like subtle heat. Yeah, that feels good. All right, I went back through the sequence of starting it and we've got it going again. 
it just, it doesn't look to me like the whole thing is lit up. Maybe that'll come with a little time. I have the windows cracked. I've set it down on the floor. I just want to see how this does. Heat rises, warm air rises. I want to see how this does um, coming up. We're showing 57 degrees in here. It's warmed up just a little bit already, just with it on these few minutes. I think this is going to be a solid, solid option instead of a diesel heater. Going to have to make sure I have propane. I'm going to, I think what my main plan is, the tank is going to go up. I'll have the seat swiveled around. The tank will go up on the floor up front, and that way there's airflow up there in case something happens with the tank. Like I said, we're just gonna let this run a little bit. It's gone, it's come up 57 degrees. To me, it just seems like the whole thing should be lit, but maybe it's just kind of getting going here. So we are on high, and I can hear it. I can hear gas going. Okay, we're gonna check back. I'm gonna let this go for about an hour or so. See what we, uh, see what we come up with. So far, 100%, two thumbs up been very happy with the quality of the heat that comes off there it is and i think it was chrome on uh, van city van life said it's kind of like a furnace it's more like your house heat it isn't like a fireplace it isn't like a buddy heater it's more of like it envelops the area i did open this window up just to crack too so i have three ventilation things open and it seemed i wonder if it wasn't getting enough air so I'm a little concerned about that. I do have a carbon monoxide detector in here. We're gonna let this go for a little while, and but for right now, it's feeling pretty good.